Good morning. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. I'm tired. I mean David. And today's day five on board the Cunard vessel. I think maybe the rockiness of this ship perhaps is making it a bit harder for me to sleep, but we have five back-to-back -back at sea days starting today. I'm going to try to grab some breakfast, maybe some coffee later, go to some presentations. It's a weekend day, nice and quiet day for me. Not a whole lot going on, so may as well chill, relax, and maybe hit the gym. You know, enjoy some quiet time for the next five days on board. Let's do it. Breakfast was not bad, another decent meal. I prefer the avocado toast, but I think reasonable options. If you sit down for breakfast, I personally prefer that food to the Lido breakfast food, so I might make that a regular occurrence for me. We shall see. And captivity here that's formed the amazing landscape that you can see today. That From time was very famous for all of its artwork. You can see in the city center of Funchal many examples of this famous Flemish downtown art. area which you can see pictured here. And from the ship, there will also be a shuttle Visit. bus with a real old word feel. It still has a dress code all day long. So if you do visit here, you do have to wear smart casual clothing. And there's always a lot going on here. There's lots of street entertainers, temporary exhibitions, and all that you sort of thing. Up on a 20 minute ride above the hills of Funchal to a place called Monte. As you can see here, this of the sea, just outside of the city center, like it's floating right up above the city center. So this is a beautiful iconic symbol of the city. But apart from that, barren peninsulas like the St. Lawrence Peninsula, which is located near the airport of Funchal of Land, where they have banana plantations and other kinds of agricultural plantations formed by all of the volcanic activity. So it's how they make the most of this very unusual, um, very imposing landscape. We'll show you some of the typical scenery of the island. Usually if it's good weather, they can open up the roof of the Jeep. So I enjoyed that uh, Madeira presentation. It was really cool to hear what's going on there. I think it's a good use of time on board considering some of the different options available here. Um, I am currently sitting at lunch about 1.30. It said it might be a while here at the Golden Lion. You know I love this. Um, but it definitely gets popular, so I might be waiting a bit. I'm thinking maybe I'll do pool time later. Don't know if I'll go to tea as much as I usually enjoy it. I'm feeling a little tired still, so uh, I may just chill in the hot tub. We shall see. And then dinner show probably later this evening. So here we have one of our old favorites, the fish and chips here. I thought it was two. I wasn't sure if that was two pieces of fish or two separate orders. Um, he's like, how many do you want? I'm like, oh, I'll take two. I imagine it would be two pieces of fish. We'll see if it ends up being two separate orders or if it's just this one thing. Either way, yay for food. It's been, it's been a chunk of time, so let's eat. So lunch was not bad. I always enjoy the fish, but it seemed like they were perhaps a bit in a rush and a bit behind today. So not the best fish, but still pretty good. I'm thinking I might take a nap to see if I have the energy for tea later. Let's do that. Well, everything looked good actually. So I grabbed a whole bunch of food considering I've got myself a pizza as well. That's the Tuscan style pizza, but I added pepperoni and some cheese on there. And we got our drinks set up. That's a lychee jelly dessert, just one because I got too much food. Let's give it a shot. Pretty good dinner tonight. I've got to say one of the better ones we've had thus far. Pretty good. I'm not giving it an incredible or anything, but great view while we are enjoying it. A quick and beautiful sunset view here while I take a look at my navigator for tomorrow, or my daily program, shall I say. And then we'll head down to the show. And would you look at that? I forgot to wrap up today, but I can give you a recap. Sat on the balcony a bit, did some pool time. I think I shared dinner with you, yeah. Uh, so that was what I did before dinner. After dinner, chilled a bit again and went to see the show. The show this evening, Jennifer Tierney. And she was good. I enjoyed her. I also was chatted with uh, Adam a bit, Adam Lacey from the other evening. And I told him about how much I appreciated his, enjoyed his show and my kind of midlife crisis. <laughs> and he was uh, very, very kind and helpful talking about you should just do it. Pursue it. What have you got to lose sort of thing. So it was very nice. So thanks, Adam, for the kind words. And yeah, it was a good show. I'm, I really have enjoyed the stage shows. Uh, some of my favorite parts of the cruise thus far. Looking forward to another fun-filled sea day tomorrow. Hopefully not too many more waves in the ocean. And hopefully we'll feel nice and stable. And we'll see how it goes. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today is day six. Day two of the at sea stretch. And I'm tired. Feeling the rocking back and forth. 
having a bit of a tricky time sleeping or doing the best we can. Another relaxing day ahead. So I'm just gonna chill and eat and stuff. <laughs> I'm not even that hungry, but I should do it, so. As I'm walking to breakfast this morning, I came across our outdoor viewing area. Lawn chairs, sit out, relax, enjoy the view. It's nice to see. Always enjoy open air viewing space. Nice view off the back of the ship here while I am getting my breakfast. So we are waiting for avocado toast as per the usual. Avocado toast today with a side of black pudding because I don't know if I've tried it here. Let's give it a shot. So it is super busy in the laundry room. <laughs> There's only three units in there. People are swarming in and out. I got really lucky to get my clothes in there, but I am keeping an eye on that. I'm gonna grab my uh, clothes to iron and iron those as well. It is nice that they have free laundry on board. So pros and cons, not a whole lot of units, but it's included, it's free, which is really nice. Um, again, props to that Wi-Fi too, I'm super lucky. I heard uh, they just got the Starlink about a month ago. And so super lucky I got on board in time for that because the Wi-Fi is really good too. This is the most popular beach in the city center itself. And it's a beautiful position, which is surrounded by two little peninsulas of Spain. You will find some of the best beaches in Spain. This is called Playa de la Victoria, which runs for a very long way. This one, this one has some fabulous water features, like this one, which you can walk over and have a side to its history, which is in some ways the soul of the city. Squares with these beautiful fountains, benches to sit and shade provided by all of the trees. And there's also American World Fair of 1929. This is a place that also features in the movies. It features as the planet in that This is apparently the largest wooden structure in the world. It was formerly called the Parasol. Nice and quick today here, near the end of lunchtime. Chicken tikka. Let's give it a shot. It was a nice lunch. Again, Golden Lion's the place to be for it. So. I would say uh, certainly keep that in mind in case you're considering some uh, better, in my opinion, better food options on board. I'm taking a lovely stroll on deck three and doing some sun rays before maybe changing before tea time. I'd like to go back to tea time today. Always a fun experience on that one. So nice stroll around to deck three here too, relaxing after a meal. <laughs> Sitting back out here in the hot tub, beautiful view of the duskish time, sunset-ish, not quite. So the sun is blocked, but it's also still bright out, which is great. I was watching the footy game. That's really fun. It's certainly uh, getting more relaxation going, more of the European culture with the footy, as well as starting to feel, I think, more comfortable with the waves. I've been, take, I took off the acupressure bands for a few hours. So yeah, starting to starting to adjust, certainly, which is nice. Had some tea today, which was nice. Always enjoy that environment. Chatted with some people down there. Got some exercise in today. And we'll see what we do in terms of dinner. And of course the show, since I always like those. Oh. I was also advised for next time, the forward is bumpier. So if I can get closer to the midship uh, next time, I think it might be better for me. But uh, good to know about that rockiness I've been feeling. Trouble I've been having sleeping here and there. All right, dressed up for another fancy evening on board. Going to head to dinner and catch the show this evening. Nice time in the pool. It's blue today. I'm going a little fancy to see if I can catch the actual sit-down restaurant. Take a look here at the chicken satay. This is my appetizer. I'm gonna try to, I'm skipping dessert because I wanna get there quick. So many quick, let's go. And Malaysian chicken satay. Chicken satay was pretty uh, pretty good, can't complain. Uh, so we got Malaysian chicken, we gonna dig in and we gonna run off to the show. So another great show tonight with the duo Yalba and uh, Adam Lacey. Again, great, uh, great group, great people, very friendly. And uh, yeah, so glad I caught the shows. So I got a, a pick with uh, Adam as well. So nice to chat with him for a while and, and uh, all that good stuff. And now it's time for bed. Hit that thumbs up button because you know you liked it. And I am going to sleep. Make it an amazing day. Breakfast this morning, trying something different. Bagels, eggs, and, uh, and uh, tasties. So that should be decent. We'll give it a shot. It is a pizza lunch day today, so we will give it a shot. Another custom one for me here, so it looks tasty. So it was another fun evening on board. Dinner was not bad. I feel like they're trending upwards with some of these dinners. And some people I spoke to said they prefer the table service dinner and the last two, at least, that I had 
were certainly better. So perhaps we should do the table service dinner more often, but it's also a lot of effort to get dressed up for it. So there are trade-offs. The show this evening was nice as well. It was another theater performance. And I've usually preferred the individual, like that one individual singer, Adam, or duo Yalba. But they were nice today as well. So good shows all around. Now to head to bed, because it's quite late. My dinner went a little late, so I caught the 10 p.m. show. That being said, we're moving towards the eastern direction. And therefore, what is now 10.45 was 9.45 yesterday at this time. So good news is we are a reasonably sleep time hour, and we'll share more real soon. We'll see you tomorrow with a couple more highlights of the adventure, I'm sure. Welcome to yet another day. I think it's day eight, maybe the fourth day at sea. So we have nine. Yeah, that's how, that sounds right. Um, now, yeah, nine should be fifth day at sea, and then 10, 12, and 14 are all destinations. So that'll be great. About to head up for breakfast. I'm tired. Uh, you know, the hours are getting later. So as I'm waking up at nine, it's actually like six in uh, East Coast. So perhaps that's an aspect of it, but I feel the rocking certainly as well. Gonna grab some breakfast, gonna get some work done. You know, it's a chill at sea day today. So we've got breakfast down to the bagels and eggs at this point. Uh, he made me an extra omelet accidentally because he forgot whites in the first one. So uh, he's like, oh, I'll make it for you again. And uh, the pastries, pretty much, <laughs> that's what we do here. This evening while I'm working, I've got this specialty pizza, barbecue, pulled pork, I believe, and you've got a pile of desserts on top of that pancake there. Not sure why they were doing pancakes for dinner, but sushi and salad underneath, you may be able to see as well. For lunch, I grabbed quick afternoon tea snacks, similar to the usual, but was certainly fast paced. So just kind of highlights while we're making our way across and we'll show you the fun, exciting things as we do them. A good morning. It is day five at sea. It's that fifth sea day we're doing now. So that makes it a total of what, day nine or something like that? I think that's right. So I woke up and it's like 11ish. I'm gonna, I missed breakfast. So I'm just kind of waiting it out for lunch, but head upstairs. Uh, for lunch-ish. I mean, it's only 10 minutes from now. It's 11.20 now, after I did all my brushing of the teeth and all of that. Going to check out the lunch situation upstairs. Hopefully they have, like, bagels and such, because I could go for a breakfast item, and maybe I'll do fish and chips. I don't know. <laughs> Gonna lose another hour today. Going to try to sleep early today, to wake up early for Madeira tomorrow, because that's what we're excited for. And maybe gym, maybe pool, relax today, see how the day goes. Well, it's not breakfast, but it is food. So we'll take it here. You've got, uh, yeah, you know, so far I feel like eh about most of them. So you got, you got eh here. Lunch is tea again today. One of my preferred meals here. So we go enjoy that. So taking a break, chilling here. I think maybe one of those salmon sandwiches, one of those salmon sliders from afternoon tea wasn't great perhaps. There've been a couple of meals left me feeling not so great. Mostly misses in terms of the food, in my opinion. Uh, I'm surprised, quite frankly. I'm not, not th super thrilled, not loving Cunard thus far, but nice to be able to experience new things. So I watched a footy game. I've watched a couple of footy games, uh, but nice to see some, I think, qualifying finals here and enjoying the Australian rugby. Perhaps I will get some tea, get some water, Maybe I'll feel up to the hot tub and hopefully I'll make the show this evening, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So I had a couple of minutes in the pool before someone decided to sit right next to me in the hot tub. Uh, and there's, they're, they're not huge, but I mean, there was more space than that. So I uh, went to grab food. I grabbed a little bit of food before they uh, kicked me out saying, oh, you need to dress up to eat in the buffet. You can't be in a swimsuit. So here I am back in the room and my host <laughs> mentioned that he hasn't had a chance to clean it yet. So I will maybe see if I can eat and leave, or I don't know what I'm going to do. But uh, things to note about Cunard, not my favorite. Here is what I've got food-wise. Again, not super hungry still, because I'm feeling kind of, I don't know, weird. So we'll see how this stuff is. All right, I've got myself a cup of tea, and I'm heading to the theater. I'm sure it will be another nice show. Overall, they've been pretty good. So another nice night of music, I am going to head to bed, prep for bed, and sleep nice and early so I can get up earlier tomorrow and enjoy Madeira. Very excited for this port, my number one most looking forward to port on this cruise. So I look forward to sharing it with you tomorrow, and I hope you've enjoyed the at-sea adventures. 
Thanks so much for helping make it an amazing day today. Don't forget to make your day an incredible day as well. Focus on the positive vibes. Look for the silver lining in everything you do. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because you know that you liked this video. You loved it. So subscribe as well. And then watch all the other ones. And look forward to tomorrow's fun-filled adventure in Madeira. So excited. Don't know if it'll be tomorrow for you, but it will be soon. So keep your eyes open. And until next time, play on. Thank you.